What's up, Fast Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another banker. Whew, we made it to Friday. I am so, so, so excited. It has been a very, very busy week. I was unable to get to everything that I wanted to do because there were some unexpected testing that the kids had to do that was not part of, you know, my curriculum or my plan okay and sometimes in life you have to adjust and readjust for unexpected things i mean it is what it is what you're gonna do cry about it but i think um being open to change is the important part because it's going to happen everything is not going to happen when you want it to happen and sometimes things get pushed to the side or delayed there's nothing we can do about it. So why get upset over things you have no control over? I feel as though we just got to keep rolling, rolling, rolling down a river. <laughs> it's Friday. I'm so excited. So the kids are going to be gaming today, but it's a practice kind of gaming. So I'm excited. Um, I've made a game but it doesn't quite work. I'm gonna see if I could play with it today and maybe have <laughs> Becky print it for me. She's so sweet. I know I get on her nerves. I'm like, Becky, can you print this for me? And she's like, it's already done. <laughs> she's so awesome, I love her. I really, really wonder if I get on her nerves. So I wanna show you guys something. So come with me. So as we're walking down the hall, before kids are at school. Um, we took photos, all the teachers took photos, right? I don't know why anyone would expect anything less, and it's like my silliness or my craziness, it gets worse as I get older. So, you know, they're supposed to be professional pictures. I think they're going and on the website. I have no idea, but take a look at my picture. And then my buddy over here, he decided <laughs> to do the same thing. Yeah, you didn't know I'm wrong for that, right? What the duh? Did you expect anything less? <laughs> hey, fool. Hey, Shaquita. Hey, Shaquita. Oh. Uh huh. So listen, listen, listen. So, I don't really like to eat. Oh, I gotta put something on my door. Say happy Friday, right? I don't really like eating in front of kids because they're little hungry butts. They be hungry at the end of the day. And so I just try not to eat in front of the children. So I was hungry one day. So I was like, my daughter, left some little um oatmeal squares in the car so i was like oh i'm gonna take this little bag it could be a little snack and i was eating i pulled him out i was doing small group or something i don't know what i was doing probably being silly and this girl was like can i have some i was like it's just a little cereal she was like i'm hungry and i was like oh and I just threw the bags up, but in a playful way. And she was like, oh my gosh, she gave it to me. <laughs> I was like, go ahead if you hungry. And that's the mother in me too, like, go ahead. <laughs> like, I'll be all right. And the very next day, when it was her class period, she came up to me and she gave me a cereal bar. And she says, well, I want to thank you for sharing your treat with me. So I wanted to give you a treat. Ugh. Baby, it almost broke me down. It almost broke me down. Okay, I got another story to tell you. No, okay, listen, listen, listen. Let me go sit down for this one. Let me sit down. Because my hand is getting tired. So, I don't have duty today, but I'm going out there to wave to the parents. <laughs> I just love them. I love that they love me. Even though grades are a little behind, but I said, don't worry. I 
sent them a video. I said, don't worry about it. I'm on the case. We gonna make sure your baby's passing. One girl told my, oh, I, I, I need to. I said, no, 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 no. We're not failing. That's not why we're here. And that's not what you're gonna settle for. I said, get all the copies that you need and we're gonna work this out. You're gonna do them. You're not gonna accept failure. Don't do that. And I said, you want more for your life and that's not what you should settle for. Go and get the copy. <laughs> she went and got the copies. Whether or not she did that stuff, Today, I don't know, but what I'm gonna do, it's like, ugh, my first period is like precious. So what I might do, I might email teachers today. Send such and such to my room. I wanna see, I don't, I don't know, cause other teachers got stuff going on, I don't know. But it's like, I need more time with them. It's like the time in the class goes by fast. So anyway, listen, 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 listen. So, I gave affirmation, said something positive to every child that walked in my room. I stopped them, I said, you're beautiful. I said, you're smart, you're amazing. There's something special about you. I know you're gonna be running your own company. And I said, what do you wanna be? And I said, that's what you're gonna do. I said, because I see that smart people. So every kid, I had something different to say. It, it did take a while. It, it did take a while and I think they really appreciate it then here comes the last girl the last girl and I said you are so beautiful I love your eyes I said you have beautiful eyes I said I want to snatch them out and put them on my face and she was like oh and I said but you have a dark spirit about you there's something dark I said but deep down inside you're amazing you're gonna be someone so amazing and so powerful you have a light about you that is shining really bright you may not see it now but it's there I see you're amazing and I said um, your situation I said when we think things are really really bad but you are so blessed and I'm so happy that you're in my class baby you know what she did she was like okay that was your turn no other kid did that. She said, now it's your turn. Baby, I can't even talk about it because I feel myself getting emotional. Homegirl brought me to tears. You hear me? My tears. And she was like, I, I can't talk about it. She was like, you're amazing. You're a special person. You are an amazing teacher. You are always joyful and happy. And you're sp she just went, she went on and on and on. And then she walked in and that. Uh, the tears were flowing um, and then I saw a change I saw a shift in her and I saw she changed she sat in the front of the class she was doing her work and stuff I saw a, something a spark but that darkness wasn't there and I don't know what she's going through but you just never know what a student or anybody may be going through but taking it's like I gave each kid 30 seconds and it took a when it took a minute it did it really did but I gave them 30 seconds and I looked into their eyes and I just I just went for it I don't think I could do that every day <laughs> because usually we do one word or something like that but I just it was something in my heart and my spirit to take my time to stop and say something to each and every child. One girl, I was like, you're quiet, but you're powerful and you are going to be someone special. You know why? Because you're already special. And then I told some girls, know your worth. Don't accept anything less than the best because whatever you accept and it's not to your standards and you don't say anything, that's how people are gonna treat you. So it was like, I was just and it was awesome. It did take time, but I think it was worth it. And so I don't know if I could do that every day, but it made me feel good. But that girl, baby, she made me cry. And I think it touched her that she touched my soul and my spirit to that, to the depth of making me emotional. Words are so powerful and you just never know how one will be affected by your words. So when you're using your words negatively, 
it really causes indelible scars that can last a lifetime. So why not use your words for good and leave those indelible scars of joy. So oh, I am just so elated that it's Friday. I wrote on all the teachers' doors down my hallway. Let's see what I wrote. <laughs> this is my door. We're going to the library today. Let's see. And I'm still working on a background for this. That was Miss Dove. This is Miss Anderson. Let me go right on this last door. 